Waking up to words. Reading breakfast menus and recipes. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our series on conversational English. Today, we're talking about a part of your daily routine that may seem simple, but is actually full of language learning opportunities. Your morning breakfast. We will focus on the topic of reading breakfast menus and recipes. Remember, this is a fantastic way to get comfortable with English and also learn about different cultures and their food habits. First, let's take a closer look at breakfast menus. When you read a menu, you encounter different types of meals and beverages. From a full English breakfast to pancakes with maple syrup, there's so much to learn. Here are some common breakfast terms you might see on a menu. Eggs Benedict. A breakfast dish that consists of English muffins topped with a poached egg, bacon or ham, and hollandaise sauce. Granola. A sweet, crunchy mixture of rolled oats, nuts, and often a sweetener like honey, eaten with milk or yogurt. Cappuccino. An Italian coffee drink prepared with espresso, hot milk, and steamed milk foam. Remember, menus often contain adjectives to make the dishes sound more appetizing, like fluffy, pancakes, or crispy, bacon. Next, we will delve into the world of recipes. Reading recipes not only helps you understand how to prepare various dishes, but also enhances your understanding of cooking terms and measurements. Let's consider this basic recipe for scrambled eggs. Beat two eggs in a bowl. Add a pinch of salt and pepper. Melt butter in a pan over medium heat. Add the eggs and stir gently until they're softly set. In this recipe, words like beat, pinch, melt, and stir are cooking terms. Understanding these terms will help you follow a recipe accurately and enhance your vocabulary. An effective way to practice your English skills is by reading aloud. Whether it's a breakfast menu or a recipe, try to read it out loud. This can help improve your pronunciation and reading comprehension skills. For example, you can read a breakfast menu from a cafe in your city, or find a recipe for pancakes online and read it out loud. The more you practice, the better you will become at understanding and using English in daily life. That's all for today's lesson on reading breakfast menus and recipes. Remember, every morning when you sit down for breakfast, you have an opportunity to learn and practice English. I hope this video helps you make the most of that time. Until next time, keep practicing, and happy learning!